And welcome back, this is Bubba Scoop with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. I am joined as always by my team of Fallout, Luke, Finney, and Novin. And when we last left off, we were trying to figure out where we could land to get to this town here. There's nowhere to land around here. Did you, I mean, there's all marshland, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, did you, did you see it? Did you see it? Right there. That's the only place that you can land. Oh, it sucks. So we begin the long journey down the wing of the hawk. Do we have new enemies on this part of the world? No, we've seen winter wolves. Winter wolves, even. I don't know why I wanted to put an F on that so badly. Anything else? No, oh, good lord, four hill gig us. Those guys are not nearly as tough as they once were. I am far too high a level to care about them anymore. The enemies here are not nearly as bad as I thought they were going to be, but those Winter Wolves do have an attack known as Ice Storm that does quite a bit of damage to your party. I mean, we're talking about anywhere from 50 to 100 every time they use it. And here we are in the town of Lufinia. If you had come here earlier before you had learned the language, everybody would just be gibberish to you, just be like random letters. Um, I think it was, you know, a letter for letter substitution, but I didn't have time to figure that out. Ancient times we were known as sky people. That vessels of yours is called Nairship Aris. Your ancestors built it and used it long ago. Once again, old technology totally kicks today's technology's ass every damn time. Said that in 400 years, four warriors of light would appear and save our people. Um, has it been 400 years yet? Because here I am. Here is my party. The legend was true. Hell yeah. What other, what other things have you heard about me? Our civilization reached new heights, we turned our eyes to the heavens and reached for the stars! But all of that is lost now. It's just memory. Earth, fire, water, and wind, these four forces shape the world in which we live. Uh, they had wind. And that's how they were able to have a sky castle. Right. Okay. Oh, sweet, I can't go over those things. The Flying Fortress drifts amongst... The Flying Fortress? There's a freaking Flying Fortress in this game? Our ancestors created robots. I wonder if they still work. Um, they just, just now ran out of batteries. I'm sorry. Um, do you guys have any double A's? Nine volts? Something? Yeah, it looks like you should be able to go into all these buildings here, but she can't. Sorry. Right, the Flying Fortress. So it was once home to our ancestors. The Tower of Mirage is its entrance. So we have to go to the Tower of Mirage now. We came to believe there was another culprit behind the four fiends. We sent five warriors to seek him out, but they never returned. That will probably be important later. There's there's at least one more enemy beyond the four fiends. We, bravely, we bravely faced Tiamat, but failed to defeat it. I can beat him. Oh, he's probably still in the fortress. That's... that's not good. Five of words were our last hope. They still live, but have been turned into bats? Where are there five bats? I mean, I've seen tons of bats in this game, and I hated every single one of them. Yeah, has been taken by time on... What's up? Take this bell? Sweet, we get the bell. Awesome. I will definitely take that. And then, yeah, you know, none of these buildings you can go in. So all that for a bell. Like, seriously. All this way for a bell. Wash it with my water. Why is the fountain talking to me? Hi, I thought you were, you thought we were done here. I bet you thought that, didn't you? Yeah, we're not. Ready? I told you there was magic here, didn't I? You guys don't listen. Ready? There's a there's a hole in the western wall somewhere along here. Is it here? I will find it. Hold on. There's the exit. It's the eastern wall. Thought it was the western one. And ta-da! Yeah, the best magic in the game is just off screen. Oh, I hate it when games do that. 
So here you go, we got Life 2, revives ally and fully restores HP, you get that. You get that. Just in case somebody dies. And then, oh yeah, Flare, we're doing this. Hells yeah. That's the most powerful spell in the game, I'll be honest with you. I don't know why they even bothered giving you any other level 8 spells. I'll be using them all for flair. I almost guarantee that. Okay, so what we want to do is go back all the way to the airship. I'm just going to do that off screen. Alright, we've made it back to our airship. And, yeah, you see this huge desert in the middle of fucking nowhere? Yeah, that is our destination. And it looks like this is the best place to land to get there. So let's go ahead and mar make our way through this insanely large desert here to try to get to the tower. I bet we have new enemies here. We do have Berettas. I think we've seen desert Berettas, but not straight Berettas before. Um, I'm going to say fire. I'm going to say these guys are weak to fire because they're in the desert. Eh, not bad, not bad. They do a hell of a lot of damage, though. I'll give them that. Yeah, they do. But look at that eight-hit combo. Oh, man. He was doing so much damage. Along the way back, he broke the thousand. He broke a thousand damage. That was insane. Where is he? Where is that? Me just staff. There it is. Come on, fire two. It doesn't do nearly as much damage as I would like, but, you know, every little bit helps, you know? Every little bit. And that should be enough for the win there? Yes, it is. And, yeah, we get a ton of experience. An okay amount of gel, but a ton of experience for that fight there. All right, let's head... There it is. To the Mirage Tower. Now, you could have come here at any time of the game, but they would just say, uh, the door's locked. You'd be like, what? I'd be like, yes, yeah, the door's locked. And we've got vampires here. Um, I think we've only seen vampires in a boss fight before, so let's go ahead and show these guys off. I assume they're weak to Daya, so where's that light axe? They're also weak to fighters, so they go down pretty easy. Uh, we might have seen those before. Good lord, 4,000 gil for that? Okay, what I want to do is get into the center here. Are there new enemies now? Where tigers? I know we've seen those. I want that treasure that's in the center of the room. I know it's kind of a convoluted path to get there. But inside we get a tent, which is almost useless to me now. Any new enemies? No, no. And what else do we have here? Is, I mean, there's a ton of treasure. We get the Asia shield. More gill, a ton more gill, a vorpal sword. We have to go around the long way to get the other stuff. And we have a black knight and a nightmare here. Uh, we've seen the nightmare. We have not seen. Does the Asia shield. Okay, none of those are. I can use in battle. Um, but yeah, we haven't seen the black knight before. We've seen the nightmare. We've seen it a few times. And down it goes. And the the Black Knight's not all that tough, really at all. 279 is enough to kill him off, um, and he didn't really do that much damage, anyways. And then here we get some more gill and another fight. Two more treasure chests to go. We get a healing helm and 800 gill. Now it's time to check this all out. Anything good here? No. Really? The Vorpal Sword? Not not even the Vorpal Sword is better than the Defender. Then what about the, the Aegis Shield? Oh, it guards against petrification with the same amount of defense. So I'm going to put the Aegis Shield on uh, simply because I can. Anything good? Nope. 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 Yeah, so much for that. Now that um, Healing Helm. Does that... Oh, it has a heal effect on it, just like the the healing staff. Um, the, the healing helm will have a heal one on it. Now that's all the treasure that we can get from this room here. So we need to head all the way back out. 
to get into a battle with a chimera instead of actually leaving. Yeah. Uh, we haven't seen one of these before. I can't imagine that it's all too tough, but I don't know for sure. No, it goes down pretty easy um, when it's by itself. I'm sure we'll see many more of those in the future. Okay, so we leave this room and go straight for the stairs. And up the stairs we go. On the second floor, I mean, we've got this huge counterclockwise room here. So the room is going to be huge, even though it's kind of artificially huge, if you have. And we do have new enemies once again. These are guardians. They look like little kind of messed up robots, if you ask me. Which makes me think they're weak to Bolt. Because I know my Final Fantasy rules and robots suck against electricity. They also suck against a defender straight to the face by Fallout. And Luke comes in and finishes off the other one. Down they go. Nothing too tough. Nothing too tough so far. But I'm sure there will be a ton of enemies along the way. So round and round we go. Man, we're just raking in the gill, and I don't think there's anything more I can spend it on. So, basically, yes, we are going counterclockwise all the way through this thing. Okay. So then, through here. And it shouldn't be too much farther. We already see the stairs there, and we see a robot. What is up, Mr. Robot? One of us flew to the west, taking the warp cube. I got the freaking warp cube. Okay, what's in this giant thing in the middle here? Because in a room that big, there's no way that it's empty. There, there's no way. Okay, oh, look at that. Oh, we get the dragon man. Oh, so we have 10,000 gil. Once again, I don't know what else I can use that on. Sunblade, more gil, cottage. 13,000 gil. Oh my god. Thor's hammer! More gil and more gil. Okay. So yes, the sun blade. It, I'm gonna say that's better than the, uh, than the defender. If you want to disagree with me, that's fine. But I, I like it better. Nothing Thor's hammer over the mithril hammer. It's it's the White Wizard's best weapon in the game. Uh, it does cast Bolt too if you use it, but you'll want it for your White Wizard. Okay, so back out of the room and all the way back up we go. All the way back up to the north, do the stairs. Back to where the robot was and yes, alongside this giant room here. Hopefully I can make it. Yes, I can. But it looks like that's going to do it for this part of Final Fantasy 1. I hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.